I'm gonna be playing Skyblock, but it's ultra hard. This means two things. First, I will only get one life, and once I die, the world is lost forever. forever. Second, I cannot regenerate my health bar without golden apples or potions. All right, let's get started. We'll grab this flower. Try to get some, oh, nice seeds already. Let's see if we can pick all these up. Oh, perfect, it started raining, nice. I decided I should first break all of the dirt around the tree and then build a little platform around it so I could catch all the saplings and everything that dropped. An apple or two would be nice. All right, time to take this tree down. All right, that's all the wood I'm gonna need. It looks like this grass hasn't grown yet. Um, all right, let's check this chest and grab everything else from it. Looks like we got some saplings to drop, that's awesome. Let's go ahead and plant these two here and extend this pathway and here. Oh, another one, nice. Yeah, let's just put that right there. Let's go ahead and build the cobblestone generator. I'm pretty sure it's four cross break and we lost that dirt, that's okay. Ice and then lava on the other side. That should... Okay, yeah, great. That's that's cobblestone. The next few minutes, we're just spent mining cobblestone, crafting some new tools, and getting prepared to expand the island. All right, we need a plan. Since I'm a noob Minecraft player, I'm gonna lose health pretty quickly, and we need to regenerate that as best as possible. So we need gold, which will come from the nether, and we need apples that will come from the trees we chop down. Let's expand the base a little bit, build a nether portal, and start a mob farm. All right, let's go ahead and plant these seeds real quick. Where'd they go? Oh, they're there. Perfect, and now my plan with these slabs is to build a platform underneath the dirt, so then I can just collect the dirt. Oh my gosh, I'm about to die. Uh, get up, get up, get up. Oh, that was close. Okay, this could be the wrong thing to do, but I think I'm gonna build a portal now, because I think the quicker we get to the nether, the quicker we can build a gold farm, the quicker we can get more health, right? Perfect, now I think all we need to do is light it. If I put some planks back here, put the lava over here, then I think that will do what we need it to do. I think eventually it will light. Okay, long story short, it took all the way until the next morning to light the portal. Here we go. Wait, what? A fire charge? What do I need that for? Wait, oh! I'll bet you there was a chest here and my portal broke the chest? Yeah, that must have been what happened. Ooh, look, gold. Okay, that would be enough for two apples. Okay, so I was gonna build the gold farm, but then I forgot that I'm gonna lose hunger quickly. So I need the mob farm built so I can make better farms in the overworld to get myself more food. But I guess all that's left right now to do is mine cobble. Just kidding, I'm not gonna make you watch that. I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the mob farm over here, so let's get started. I just realized something. I need to get spiders for string to make a bed before the third night comes because that's when phantoms start coming. Yeah, I better hurry up. Okay, sorry to interrupt, but we totally forgot about something. In order to build the mob farm, we need an unlimited water source, and right now we only have one water bucket, so that's not gonna work. While I was building the mob farm though, I saw an island off this direction, and so let's go check it out. I hope there's water there. After what seemed like an eternity, I finally made it to the island, and there was water there. Perfect, that's what we needed. Now we can make an infinite water source. Perfect. All right, let's go finish the farm. Okay, wait, actually first we're gonna need more cobble. Holy, that scared the crap out of me. They're here, the phantoms. Uh, get under here. Yeah, I don't think they can hit me if I'm under here. <sighs> Where are they? Hello? Okay, I'm not crazy. You guys heard me too, right? That was weird. Where are they? Well, that was kind of anticlimactic.
cool. Now that that's all done, we just need to take down this pathway that I made. I hope that no mobs follow me while I'm doing this. And just like that, the mob farm is done. Now time to see if it works. Oh, nice. We've already got our first mobs. Looks like a zombie. Nope, skeleton and a creeper. While I was waiting for mobs to spawn in the mob spawner, I just decided to collect some cobble. Then I made a path through the trees just in case some phantoms came. Did that skeleton really just drop a bow? No way. That's sweet. Oh, we also got our first bones. So we can get some bone meal and then grow these crops, grow a little bit more. And now we can make our very first piece of bread. Well, that was tasty. There comes a time in one sky block when all there really is to do is to mine cobble. So other than this fire catastrophe that happened, yeah, we won't talk about that. The mining the cobble went pretty well. After that happened though, I knew I needed to expand the base to give the trees some more room to grow. Luckily, during the entire fire process, I didn't lose any health. Okay, after reviewing some of the footage, I looked at the mob farm again, and I think the reason it's not spawning very many mobs is because there's half slabs on top and some light is getting through. So let's go up there and fix that. <laughs> Holy crap! I gotta get down from here. Oh my gosh, I didn't place any water. Go, 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 go! Oh shoot, he's definitely gonna kill me. Come on, come on, come on, come on! Block in, block in, block in! I'm literally shaking right now. Phew. I think I'm just gonna mine some cobble. And that's what I did, because I was way too scared of the phantoms to go out again. <laughs> 